of audio-based content and improv comedy podcast. On this show, friends come over and play long-form improv with me. Our scenes are inspired by a chosen audio format. I am your host, Aaron's V. Felder. On today's episode, I am joined by Courtney Nuding Farrell as we hear a woman receive an unexpected phone call from her cousin. <laughs> Linda, Linda. Oh, what, Samuel? That's right, it's me, Samuel. Hello, Linda. Oh, hi. Hello, I know it seems a little strange me calling you out of nowhere in the middle of a Tuesday. It is strange. You haven't called me since, I think, Denise's bat mitzvah. I, yeah. Well, I remember at Denise's bar mitzvah. I don't know if you remember or not, but uh, I had a little too much to drink. Yeah, what I meant to say is when you called me after Denise's bat mitzvah and you said, hey, when is Denise's bat mitzvah? And I said, you were there! You don't remember? Yeah, I know. It was. I was told I did a lot of shameful things that evening. Oh, it was a shame upon the whole community. It we was. were shamed. They're still talking about it. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, why do you think I don't, you know, haven't seen me at services in a long time? It's got oh, me embarrassed. Samuel. I don't want to show my face. Well, there's some people at Beth Shalom that would welcome you back with open arms, but there's other people like, you know, David. Yeah, David. Who is very, very upset still to this day. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's... It, does he still talk about me? Does he ever talk about me? Does he ever say he misses me? Uh, he doesn't. He does talk about you. He doesn't say he misses you. Oh, uh, come on. I always mention you. I always mention you, Samuel, because you're a very important cousin to me. Yeah, and, and you know he I've just his face turns purple. Yeah, but I love your brothers and I love you. You're all family, you know. And it's like. <laughs> I mean, I know I know Frank loves me, so it's like I would just wish everybody was on board. Yeah, well, you know, not everyone inherited the forgiveness gene. Yeah. You know, speaking of which, I was doing that Ancestry.com. Yeah. I was doing that Ancestry.com, and uh, it turns out that our great, great... Grandmother was uh, the town whore in Kashmirju. In Kashmirju. Why would you tell me this? Well, that, you know, that our grandmother was a whore. I mean, why wouldn't I you want to know? I don't even like know? you saying that. Can't you class that up a little bit? Uh, she she was a th there's a record. She owned a brothel, so oh, she wasn't. Well, no, no. Uh, hey, uh, now wait a minute. Owned. Yeah. Owned. Well, I, it's this unclear. Maybe she about. was a manager. She owned it. Yeah, I, I mean, she she was in some sort of management position over the other whores, but she probably started as a whore. Well, how did you find this out? Would you see a name on some checks on a deed for property? Or? It was uh, it it was actually a, a certificate from the village leader of Kashmirju honoring her for her service to the community via, you know, the muff. Oh, my God. This explains why your father was so upset when I ran into him at the haberdashery. <laughs> well, you know, he's very... He gets in a certain mind when he's at the haberdashery. He's all business. Yeah, but well, when I saw him at the haberdashery, he was selling his hats. It made me sad. He went to the haberdashery to sell his hats? That's right. 
I mean, he could just put them on Facebook Marketplace. That's I what I do. I your father knows how to use Facebook Marketplace. Oh. I barely know how to use Facebook Marketplace. All right, enough about the family. I don't want to talk about the family anymore. You don't want to talk about the family. It, I can't believe it I can't believe gives I had to me call you. agita. What do you mean you, you can't believe you had to call me? I had to call you to find out that that uh, that my great great grandmother was a owned a, uh, a a brothel. Well, I mean, for that time, I'm sure it was a it it was a liberating position. I mean, you had, like I said, management. Uh, it's yeah. a it's an evergreen yeah, at least economy. Was, you know, she, yeah, at least she owned the place. She ran the joint. Yeah, right? I mean, I th- I I I can't go back in time in a time machine to Kashmirju. Though I would love to. I would love to as well. Yeah. See, well, I don't know if I'd want to see. I mean, just in case. you know. Well, what if you didn't know it was the, her? And you stopped you in for a tug. I would for ask. A tug her. job. I would ask her. I'd go, what's your name? What's your last name? Mm-hmm. Well, she, of course, has a different last name. What do you mean? Well, it's, uh, you know, because she's a woman. And, uh, you yeah. know, it was her maiden name. Her maiden name. Now it's... Like, I I'd already told you I don't want to talk about the family anymore. What's your deal? Why are you calling me? What's up with you? I, uh, d- I'm in jail. What? <laughs> I need you to come pick me up from jail. What? First of all, we've already been talking, what, ten minutes now? This... Generous with this I phone call uh, allotment. Well, yeah. Good grief. There's nobody else here. It's just me and this one. Well, cop. you really buried the lead on this one. Yeah, Why yeah. are you well, in I'm jail? A embarrassed. What what did you do? I, uh, Is it the drinking again? No, uh, it's, uh, well, I mean maybe, but I didn't get arrested for drinking. I mean what the drinking led to. I I might have Caused a bit of a ruckus and tried to steal some food from a Panda Express. Okay, like like a dine and dash. You didn't just go in the kitchen and and say, "Hey, chef." I did not look just, over there. I didn't you just, just grabbed walk the food in and go in the kitchen. No. Okay, so you ordered it and then tried and then to get away without paying. No, I oh. ordered it. I saw the cook in the back. And I was like, what is this guy doing? And then I started arguing with the cashier, and he's trying to help somebody else. And I'm like, yeah, but this is, we're in the middle of something. we got to stop this before it gets too far. And then I'm doing it right. Then I'm cooking my food right. I like my chicken to be cooked a certain way. And then, and, you know, I might And then I was like, this is ridiculous. I, couldn't, I was watching my chicken get ruined. So I went behind the counter, and I... Mo- I, I maybe I pushed the guy a little hard. He, he fell down. I think he was being a little dramatic. And I started cooking my own chicken. And then I put it in a box and I tried to leave. Okay. Well, then you weren't stealing the labor because You're you right. were providing I wasn't that yourself. Labor. I wasn't stealing labor. But now they're saying assault. Assault because you pushed the chef? Because I pushed the chef. Is it a chef? It's a Panda it's Express. A, no. Can no, when you were, okay, chefs? you said Panda Express, and I was thinking of that P.F. Chang's. Which is another, then I would say, chef. That's a nice place. Then I would say, whoa, buddy, how'd you even get in that kitchen? When I go to P.F. Chang's, I spring for the appetizers. You spring for the appetizers. I spring for the appetizers. I I like the little, um, uh, what do you call it? I like the dim sum. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You don't. That's just like a real Chinese restaurant. You like dip it. That's authentic. Yes. It's a, it's a good P of you Chinese. dip. You know what I like is the Peking duck because Peking duck. It's a little greasy. Oh, little not if not if they do it right. Yeah, I guess. I uh, guess. But it comes in a little sandwich. They make a sandwich for you that's a Peking duck sandwich like a yes. Vietnamese banh mi. I don't know what that is, Samuel, it's but It's a sandwich. Okay, it's, French bread. it's a sandwich. Okay, that sounds like it would abrade the roof of my mouth. 
These, it's you know high. about the the my mouth. I know what you mean. It's very sensitive. I can't have crunchy or pointy foods. Right. That's why I like the Peking duck mm-hmm. sandwich buns because they're so soft. Mm-hmm. They're like memory foam. Yep. Just like my uh, my Dr. Scholl's. It's like eating my Dr. Scholl's inserts. It's so spongy. And then you put the meat in there and they give you a plum. It's made oh out of plum, a plum jam and some oh. some of those green onions or spring onions. Oh my God, this scallions. sounds fantastic. So many names for that one vegetable. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, you now I'm hungry. Do now you I want to go to P.F. Chang's. Do you remember when we went to that pho restaurant and you ordered pho and it came out and it was steaming and you made them put it in the freezer for 10 minutes? No, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. I don't know uh, any faux rest. Why would I go to a fake restaurant? It's a kind of soup. It's a kind of... I know I, I've eaten soup with you literally hundreds of times. Yeah, you know, I always order deli. soup. I always order soup because it feels good on in my mouth. It's feels soothing, good in your mouth. but it can't be too hot because it's too hot. It if it's too hot, it burns the tender skin right off my mouth. So yes, I do recall saying the soup is too hot. You need to just put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Because that's what I do when Milton makes my soup because he always makes it too hot. So I tell him, please put it in the freezer. How's <sighs> Mil- how is Milton? Oh, Milton. Hold on, let me take a drink. I'm, this is making me thirsty talking so much. I can't believe you're just sitting in this jail just chatting it up. Yeah, you know, well, they let did me... Did you slip them? Did, did you bribe them? No. When they arrest you and they take your wallet out of your pants, they take all your cash anyway. Yeah, but you could say, like, uh, like Game of Thrones. Remember when the, the little guy... You know, no, the, the I little guy, and he's like, oh, I'll give you my father's gold. I don't have it right now. No, it was a little, I uh, kind of, you could say I uh, Mark twain him a little bit. Like, I, uh, first I'm not I, familiar with that First reference. I offered him a coupon, you know, for for my laundromat. And then uh, they said no to that. So I, what I did is I just started talking to them. Just through the bars, I just started talking to them. Uh-huh. And I talk, you know me, I talk and talk and talk yeah, and talk. And I was I'm talking about all these minutiae things. I was asking about all the little things I could see on their desk, you know, about their uniforms and, and yeah, about arrest procedures. Mm-hmm. And I was asking about the cell I'm in. And eventually they were like, just call somebody. Yeah. Well, th- I know. Well, that's how you, that's why you've been married so many times, is you know how to charm people. I like talking. You like talking. And you know that. That's how you get people to like you is to ask them questions because they want to talk about themselves. It's true. People like talking about themselves. And then you know, they run out of stuff. And you start asking them questions and they're like, I, I told you already. And then they get mad at you. Well, that's why you got to be a good listener. You can't. And right. that's why you can't be drunk when you do it because you're going to ask the same questions over and over. And that's why you've been divorced so many times. I don't think I got divorced because I got drunk. <laughs> Your wives were always getting so irritated at you because they'd say, Samuel, I've already told you this. You've asked me that question a thousand right. times. Yeah. It's not that I, I mean, yeah, I'm drunk, right? But I remember interesting things when I'm drunk. Maybe so my wife. It's, so it's our fault that your, we're not interested in How is it enough. your fault? I'm saying any the, from the point You're of view of cousin. the person. From the point I of view of the person very much. that I don't is talking to you. You mean my wife's? What we say because my wife's <laughs> fault. Is it my wife's fault? That's I. That's why I feel what you're saying. Yeah, it is my <laughs> wife's fault. I feel like we lost. What were you ask? You were asking me about Milton. Yeah, how is Milton? Well, <laughs> you won't. Bl- Milton has cancer. What? <laughs> what kind? Oh, some little piddling kind that's what just, do you mean? he's complaining way little too much about for what kind. kind of cancer. What stage is it in? It's cancer. It's, it's stage three. Stage three? It's not even stage four. It's bad. It's just a... Th- that's not, it's, it's worse than stage on one. It's a spot on his nose. It's a spot on his it's nose. It's on his nose. Yes. He's got a tumor on his nose? It's, yeah. Uh, is it skin cancer? Melanomas. 
Skin cancer? Yes, yes. I told him. I told him all the whenever we're on vacation. And he's like, I'm going to go to the beach. I love the ocean. And every time I go, you're going to regret it. You should stay here on the deck. Stay here on the deck under the umbrella. Sit in a chair with your mm-hmm. wife. And he's like, no, I want to swim in the ocean. I want to touch a crab. I want to, you know, you, you see him. He goes out there with the nets. He gets his own fish. And then he cooks the fish for dinner. He makes it. Yeah, that's why I was so attracted, attracted to him. Because he's... He's a doer. He's a provider. He's a doer. He's an adventurer. He's a great man. He's he's a mensch. He he is a mensch. He's a mensch. Uh, but he's an idiot too. He's a schmuck because I he told him if he's gonna yeah. be out sh- sh- schlepping around in the tide pools to just put some zinc on his nose, but he said that he felt like he was wearing makeup. Yep. That's how I much of a man he was. He wouldn't wear sunscreen makeup. because it was makeup. Oh my god! Because it's oh, it's so thick and it's white and, and uh, or it's pink. Sometimes yeah. I had the pink kind. Ridiculous! Remember how how your dad would go out there just covered head to toe in sunscreen? Oh yeah! Like he looked like a white ghost of just like a floating swimsuit <laughs> running down the beach. He did. He looked like a little cotton ball bobbing Ridiculous. above the water. But he was one of the first, I mean, that that generation to wear sunscreen. I mean, yeah. people that age, you know, they didn't think anything could hurt him. They didn't yeah, think well, about cancer. But he, you know, he was a scientist. Good he thing was he a, did. He was a scholar, so he knew. Yeah. And that's why he lived to be 104, God bless him. Yeah, that's fantastic. But Milton, oh my God, I'm <sighs> so sorry. Yeah. What are you? What is he going to do? Well, uh, he's just going to bitch and moan, apparently. I mean, he's acting like it's the end of the world. But, uh, you know, he's got a, a, meeni- a, a meeting with uh, his doctor. You know, Dr. Taub. Yeah. I mean, he's great. He I is mean, great. He's, he's he's a boy of Beth Shalom. Mm-hmm. We've seen him grow up. He drives he's a Porsche. Preeminent. Oh, his Porsche. It's just, oh, I just don't know when he's going to get married. Well, it's why, ridiculous. Why would he? Because he could, he, because when you reach that pinnacle of success, you need to have a legacy. He can you need to pass to have that a on different to your woman children. Every night of, of the course. week. I'm not saying he can't womanize, but I'm saying he needs to start a family. Settle and down. He he could have the most beautiful wife, like like a like a like a Trump wife, like a I Melania. Know. I heard that when he dies, he's given all of his money to the Jewish Federation. Are you telling me you want that money to Dr. go to some Taub kid? Dr. Taub is going to do that? Yeah. Are you telling me you want that money to go to some kid? Uh, well, now you've put me in a predicament because, you know. That money be good, go to good use. I mean, you know, I think that people should have children. I think Jewish people should have children. Of, of course. course. We have to make up for lost uh, time. Yeah, it's true. And, you know. We need to replenish, and uh, too many of us are leaving the faith or not oh. finding love. <sighs> you know, this happens. Secular ones just kill me. Well, you know, it's a tantalizing world we live in. They just, they just, you know, keep the the names for the exoticism, you know, to be different and cool and hip. Nobody wants to be a wasp now, which is great. Yeah. I love it. People but, barely you know, be they're Catholic. not doing the work. <laughs> That's right. It's true. Yeah, you're right. It's like uh, it doesn't mean much anymore other than I'm not a Christian. I mean, you know, the last time I've been to a bris? Come on. When, when? when was the last God. time? It might have been 1984. 1984? Yeah. My God. I'm, nobody's having time. babies. No one's... Cutting their wee wees. Yeah, well, they are. They're just doing it in the hospital. They don't want to do That's it in front true. of a crowd like they used to. When oh, I, yes. at my bris, there was 150 people in attendance. I'm proud of this. 
Oh. I'm not embarrassed. Yes. That's that's a huge display of importance. Yeah, of all the world knows. It's like you're a little prince. That's right. Everyone needs to see your wee wee. Yeah. It's what it's hey. basically when you become a man hey, as hey, a baby. Hey. What? It's, it's cops telling me I gotta go off the phone. Oh, I, will you come pick me up? Uh, w- where exactly? Yes, but uh, how long? I mean, uh, Jeff Jeffrey's County Jail. Oh, and I need you to come as soon as possible. What were you doing over there? I was at the Panda Express. There's a Panda Express in Murphy's County. I know, I know, but I, I, uh, I just... I'm not you thought it. that Panda Express would be better? I'm not allowed in that Panda Express. Oh, God. So this is not the first time. Why <laughs> is there all these things I don't know about your life? Because I'm embarrassed. <sighs> I, it's, I've never been in jail before for, it, for this particular thing. But, but I need you to come. And I need you to bring ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars for getting the for taking out a plate of kung pao chicken at Panda Express. That's ridiculous. That plate must have cost well, eight dollars. It's true, but the the chef when he fell over, he flailed his arms around like an idiot, and he hit a pan that was sitting on the stove, and then it might have burned. It might have fell and burned him. Oh my pretty badly. god. So now he's got, he's going to sue you. You're going to get sued. Oh, Jesus. Good thing you don't have any children. I mean, no one to bear the burden of your debts when you die. What a terrible thing to say. Well, I'm just trying to look on the bright side. Good thing I don't have children. Well, I mean, you know, we just talked about this. I always wanted you to, but geez, I mean, you're kind of making a mess of it. Second Panda it's Express rude. incident. Look, I love you, Samuel, but Second, I you need that's to generous. <laughs> See, you at least this is let this first time in jail be your last, okay? Unless well, you join the police academy, but I think you're too like, old. Like I said, this is my first time in jail for this particular oh type my of incident. God. Well, let you need to take this as a lesson because I. Do have ten thousand oh, dollars? Thank God! Thank God! Because of Milton and oh his investment. Oh my God! Thank God! Thank but you, Milton. You know. <sighs> thank Milton for me. We're gonna have to get you on some kind of a payment plan, Samuels. I mean, we we uh, we were planning on using that money to invest in a, a new waffle business. That I think is really gonna. I think it has potential. A new awful business? No, waffle. Waffle. Oh. A I thought this time awful. you were admitting it was awful from the get go. God <laughs> bless it. Samuel. <laughs> your japes really uh, cut to the core when you're asking me for $10,000. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're no, right. Waffles, it's actually a business where uh, they take kids off the street, they, they take the at-risk youth, and the at-risk youth uh, man trucks that, that are converted Airstreams. Did I say it? No, trucks, you know, food truck, trailer, what have you. So they drive these around and they make Belgian waffles. They make Belgian waffles. Waffles. Yes, you know that food trucks are very hot, very hot. They can go anywhere, anywhere the action is. Ah, a Belgian waffle food truck. Mm-hmm, that's right. Let me ask you something. You thought about serving chicken with the waffle? A little chicken and waffles? I mean, we're just we're just angel investors. That's the plan. How we are didn't you gonna come up have with the concept. How are you going to have a food truck selling a breakfast item and you choose the German waffle over a bagel? Okay. Are you, you kidding me with this? First Is of the all, truck a Volkswagen? German, Belgian. Okay, Belgian. Where's Belgium? Belgium is, is between Germany and France. Hey, I don't so know how you don't know about the geography of Western Europe after everything our people have been through. This is ridiculous. 
You said it's between Germany and France. Our great, great, great I know grandmother about Western. from Kashmirzu oh. in Poland. Yeah. Yeah, in the east. I know about the east. I don't know anything I don't know anything west of Germany. And then your grandmother was from Belarus. But you know that. Yeah, I already knew that. Mm -hmm. um, where was where was uh She was a typist. Where was the a typist? Yeah, a, a typewriter. typewriter. One of the first she must have been. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or at least uh when they employed women. Oh yeah, well, you know, sh we it's it's a family of women trailblazers mm. in our lineage. The it's men true. were useless. They I didn't do come anything, on. Which probably Don't explains say it. a lot. That's Don't why say I that. Yeah. We're not all useless. Are you saying your two brothers are useless? Yes, they're useless. Frank? Yes. Frank is useless. <sighs> Frank, I mean, you think selling used cars really contributes to culture and society at large? Last year, he bought a Tesla. But he sells those beaten down Camaros. And you know he does the things with the the messing with the odometers and the That's just to make it more marketable. People are stupid. They think you can't buy a car the older mileage, but he gets it fixed up real nice and then he puts the he odometer. He fix it up. He's a liar. He pu puts the odometer at what uh at what the the car really represents in its soul, you know? Oh, like you. That's you know, like you 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 you're 60 years old, but you feel 45, right? Am I right? Your of course odometer. I do. I feel so 25. You, you wouldn't be lying if you changed your odometer to say 45 if you had an odometer. Uh, if I had an odometer, yes, I would change it. But I'm also not selling my body to anyone else, unlike our great, great, great grandmother. We, she wasn't you. selling her body. She was selling other people's bodies. I think, oh, you tell me. She that was selling other people's bodies. The madam isn't also. No, of course not. How could they manage the business? Well, you know, the the high dollar clients that want to be with a businesswoman. Wouldn't you rather be with a businesswoman of a certain age who had authority and respect in the community rather than some syphilis ridden young girl? No. No, you would choose the syphilis. I would choose the young this, girl. I'm Understanding, you know, I'm understanding your whole life path I, now. I wouldn't choose syphilis. I mean, you don't know they have syphilis when you go in there. Well, you know, you, you they put on rose-colored glasses because they know what the They put on rose-colored glasses? The the Johns, the Mocks. How do you know? What do you know? I watch a lot of movies. Watch a we lot have of movies. HBO. Come on. I don't put on no glasses. Half of HBO's programming is just about prostitutes. Well, they don't show all of it, though. They show. They show. Uh, That's why uh, Milton is always watching the TV. You know, he's very, uh, he's, he's, gets very blue at our house. Yeah? Oh, yeah. He's, he's a dirty boy. Did he ever tell you about that time I brought him to that strip club? No, he told me he'd never been to a strip club. I told him to a strip club. You did? Well, what? when was this? Uh, this is maybe uh, like around 12 years ago. We were in Cincinnati for uh, our third cousin's son's bar mitzvah. Do you remember this? Uh -huh. We were staying there. We were, at the, uh -huh. we were all hanging out at the hotel that weekend. We had nothing to do. It was mm -hmm. raining. So I said, hey, let's go yes. out. And, and I then stayed he went home out because me. I had yeah, the, the hotel. hernia. That's right. He went out with me, and then I got him to go to a strip club. Well, how did he behave? He was real good. He didn't object to anything. And he uh, promised not to tell any, not to tell everybody about what. He didn't object to anything. What <laughs> the hell does that, that mean? That means I would suggest things, and he wouldn't say no. Such as what? 
you know, they, like a like watching the ladies dance. He said, "Yes, I will watch the ladies." Well, he didn't dance say yes, off but he clothes. didn't say no. And then you know, I was like, "Let's get a private room with one of them." What? And then I was like, "Let's let's give a uh, one hundred and fifty dollars and the key to our hotel room to my hotel Samuel! room." Samuel. What? Milton. Milton. What? Yes, honey. What is Samuel talking about? You got a private room with a stripper. No. No. In Cincinnati. What? That's ridiculous. I, I would never spring for such a thing. You know, that was very tight with my money. Samuel, I can't believe you did that. Did what? What did you do in there? What did you do in that room? I had sex with the woman. What? You had sex and s- and Milton was just there watching? No. I think that made him uncomfortable. So he turned on the television and he was watching the television. Ah. Oh. Well, that's a relief. He didn't he didn't did he? He did go to the bathroom once during and I got to tell you that I did think that's Did he take rude. about 6 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Then he I Then he was probably... I mean, give or take. I wasn't counting. I was having sex. Because he was probably just pooping then. Yeah. He was probably just having a uh, BM. That's what I thought. Which is what I was going to say. I think that's rude. Well, if he had been in there for three minutes, then I would know that he was... Urinating? He was stooping himself. Stooping himself? Yes. You think he got turned on by me having sex with a stripper? I don't think it was you. I'm sure it was the woman. Was she voluptuous? Uh, I mean... Did she have a nice bosom? She had a nice bosom. Well, he loves a nice bosom. All right, that's gross. You're the, that's gross. You're the one who had sex right in front of him. That's <laughs> disgusting. And you're telling me that she didn't try to have sex with him? He didn't touch her at all? Of course she did. She's trying to get everybody's money. She doesn't just want my money. She wants his money. So now you're telling me not only did he go to a strip club, but Uh engaged in prostitution. No, he, he, well, I mean. Did he have sex with that woman or not? No, no. Milton! What? Melvin! What? Did you have sex with that woman in Cincinnati? What woman in Cincinnati? I swear to God, I will leave you if you're lying to me. I don't care how long we've been together. Lying I will sue what? you for divorce and I will get what everything. What are you talking about? Is I'm this about the juice again? The juice? Yeah. No, this is not about the juicer that you Always broke putting in a whole juicer. head of celery in there. I'm talking about the stripper. I want juice. I told you to just go to go get the Dr. Brown celery at the deli. You don't have to make your own. It's uh, too expensive. <sighs> Why did I make my own juice? I swear to God, I'm going to leave you and I'm never going to visit your grave. What? And I'm going to sell my plot next to you. I'll buy a new juicer. This is not about the juicer. This is about you cheating on me in Cincinnati. Cheat on you? Have we even been to Cincinnati? Oh, my God. I can't do this anymore, Samuel. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Don't, don't be so hard on me as cancer. He didn't Cancer. have sex. He, didn't he has have, a spot on his nose. He did not have sex with that woman. You said it's stage three. He did not it's have sex with that nose. woman. She tried. I said she. She was like, "Hey, I could do you too. I'll give you a discount because you're so handsome." She said, and he turned the volume up on the television. I and don't then know. she you know, she got up and got next to him, and you know, and then he was like, I could see him get a little tense, and and then you know, she started touching him and t- 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 rubbing his chest and whispering things in his ear, and maybe putting her tongue on his ear or nibbling his earlobe, and then she you know put his put her hand in his pants, and you know, but he never Gee, he never yes. paid her any money. Oh, so we just got some touches for free. He yeah. is 
that's it. But I'm no, he didn't. See the lawyer. He didn't want to do any of this. She was making him uncomfortable. I could tell. Well, that is no excuse. I mean, what's he supposed Being to do? Being uncomfortable and just sitting there. And what's he supposed groped? to do? Leave. Leave. He couldn't leave. Why couldn't he leave? Because I had the one key card, and we had given it to the prostitute. And then, you know. You know, this is He would have upsetting. had to have touched her. The key card was in her underwear. He would have had to have touched her underwear. Oh. So he couldn't leave. Yeah. He couldn't leave. What can I tell you? But he, I thought he was very strong. I thought you would have been happy about this. He didn't sleep with her. He could have slept with her. <sighs> He could have slept with her. I'm and sure he, he just didn't because you were there. And, you know, he's very... Oh, his performance come on. Anxiety. You know Milton's not like that. Oh, you can't, you can't even watch him. You know I won't, he won't even let eye. me be in the bathroom when he's taking a whiz. He won't because he feels watched and judged and he gets performance anxiety. And same with the, yeah, when we make love. So what, you think that wouldn't happen with a stranger that he's paying money for? I saw him pay for a roast beef sandwich, $4, and then he spent the whole time going, this isn't, this isn't good enough, I, can't, I, can't, I feel like this sandwich just won't. You see what I'm saying? And that's $4. And he's like, it's not worth the money, it's not worth the money, it's not worth the... Well, that I can completely understand. That's a terrible feeling when you've paid $4 for a sandwich. Can you imagine him with a prostitute? Terrible. He'd be well, the whole it time. Sounds like it was. He'd be like, "Ugh, I, I didn't have a coupon. I, there was no discount here. I'm paying full price for this. this. is ridiculous." He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. I know he yes, was nervous. Yes, he's very I could tell, smart with his money. I could tell he wanted to leave because he came so fast. What? When she put his her hand in his pants. Oh! Mostly came in my underwear. Oh, God, I'm divorcing you. No, yes. honey, I didn't know how to leave. You're a liar and I a cheat. I just didn't know how to leave. You've disgraced my home and what? me and our children. No, <laughs> come on, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't know how to leave the situation. It was very Oh, go die of cancer. D Samuel, thank you very much. You've ruined I, my life. I know. I need you. I still need you to come pick me up and bring ten thousand dollars. God damn it, Samuel! Fine. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. No. Oh. Thank you for listening to another episode of audio-based content. You can see Courtney Nuning Farrell and myself in Third Coast Lab and Soap Opera at Third Coast Comedy Club. You can buy my comics and clothing and whatnot at my Etsy shop by going to my art website, Aaron Dash Zv, that's Z V I Dash Felder dot com. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and rate us.